is everyone doing? Wanted to make another video to kind of check up on the world and see how everyone's doing. Um, today is April 7th. It's the full moon today. And yeah, I just felt kind of inspired to create a video. Don't really know where it's going to go, but um, I have some things going on in my life right now. I am going to move into the camper on um, Willow's Heart on the 14th of April. So about in a week, I'll be out there living on my own at first before Chase comes and joins me. And yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to start having more nature videos, maybe some guided meditation videos. Um, yeah. So, how has everyone been feeling lately? I know things have been pretty intense, maybe scary for some of you. Um, there's a lot, a lot of energy flowing around. There's a lot of healing going on, which is beautiful. But um, in healing, a lot of times you're facing your darkness, you're facing your old habits, your negative self-talk, things like that. And it's, it's hard. It's difficult. It's a lot of work. It's definitely work. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone is getting through that well. I believe in each and every one of you that we can get through this. I was having um, a bit of a hard time. I was thinking that everything just felt so draining, and but I think it was just time for me to rest. And I've had a few days of rest, and I feel pretty pretty good today. Definitely more positive. Definitely been crying a lot though, which is good. It's letting letting things out, letting things go. I've definitely found comfort in drinking hot drinks, even a couple of times a day, maybe. Some tea, some decaf coffee. It's really um, helpful in times like this. I've been drawing, um, doing a lot of writing down lists, um, maybe writing little pieces of poetry, random thoughts here and there, so journaling. Um, Listening to good music, definitely. Cooking, just experimenting in the kitchen with everything that I have available to me. If you want to share what you've been doing to kind of not go crazy, I would love to hear about that. So... I wanted to do a couple minutes of just calming, deep breathing. This video is a little scattered, but I think a lot of things are scattered right now, so it's just aligning, you know. But if everyone watching could just, you know, roll out the shoulders, maybe stretch your neck a little bit. And then do some deep stomach breaths. So with stomach breaths, with deep belly breaths, you're going to, you can put your hands on your belly. And when you inhale, fill your entire belly up with air. And then as you exhale, you're going to let all that air out. And kind of press up and your belly kind of shrinks a little bit. Do that a couple more times. Okay. 
We're going to do a short little gratitude meditation. So if you want to go ahead and close your eyes, maybe put your hands at your heart. You're just going to close your eyes and imagine a bright light shining down through the crown of your head, back down your spine and into the earth. And it's clearing out and aligning and cleansing and healing all blockages and negative energies. Imagine this bright light expanding and lengthening and getting bigger around your body and actually becoming bigger than your body. So you're just completely inside of this light, this healing light. You're covered in all of the healing light. Now think of just three things. Three things in the last couple of days that made you smile or giggle or just feel a little bit of happiness, a little bit of silliness. It could be that somebody texted you from your past to ask how you're doing. It might be that you've got a couple hours of alone time and all you did was take a nap and be able to enjoy the space by yourself. In the last couple of days, I've been able to hang out with my boyfriend, Chase, because he's been off work. And I have I really enjoyed that time. We're still able to go outside, so I've been able to take walks, and I've been just trying to identify all the trees. It's spring here, so I look at all the flowers and the new blooms, and the colors are so vibrant. And even though everything that's going on with us, with the world, with humankind, is kind of crazy, you can look outside and remember the birds are still chirping, the sun is still coming up, there's still air to breathe. Take a couple more deep belly breaths and feel the light surrounding your entire being, healing you. Touching the dark parts, giving them a little hug. And you can open your eyes. Remember, when you're at home or somewhere that you're kind of stuck at for this time of isolation, you can always go within. You can always just close your eyes and take a couple deep breaths and try to focus on what's going good in your life. Maybe there's only a couple of things, but those couple of things can really, really impact you in a deep way. Gratitude has been so important in my life, especially in the last few months. I started writing in this gratitude journal um, December 10th of 2019, and since then, I look at things differently. I look at problems with curiosity, like, hmm, what is this difficult situation teaching me? Instead of like, why is this happening to me? Why does this always happen to me? When you play victim, you tend to run into other problems. 
I still play victim sometimes. I'm not perfect, but I'm aware and I notice that and I try to kind of alter the way I'm looking at it. But I just want to say that I love each and every one of you. And I know we're going to get through this. So just honor how you're feeling. You know, if it's a bad day, that's okay. There's going to be some of those during this time. But have gratitude. Hold space for yourself. Be easy on yourself. Give yourself a lot of love. Some hugs. And I enjoyed speaking with you. I felt kind of unsure about what I was going to talk about. Still not really sure <laughs> what I talked about. But I think I got it all out there when I wanted to share. And I look forward to seeing you next time. I'll probably be in my camper in the woods. And we can maybe explore some of nature together. But I will see you next time. Bye, guys.